The volatility of energy costs has motivated many farmers to investigate ways to increase the energy efficiency of their operation. This video will introduce you to several farmers who have taken the next step and added energy to the list of what they produce. It got to the point where we couldn't really reduce anymore. We had to start producing. Energy is not going to get cheaper in the future. So whatever steps we can do now, set ourselves up for in the future, it's well worth doing. Solar was the most attractive option and seemed to really fit our operation here very well. The choice to go solar also fit well with the goals of incentive programs available to help fund upgrades of this kind. We first learned about the REAP program through our solar contractor. They were extremely helpful in making sure we were aware of all the incentives and all the different programs out there to benefit the install of a system like this. The Rural Energy for America program, mostly known as REAP, is a program specifically designed to help um, small businesses and agriculture producers in rural areas. And the types of projects that are eligible would be either renewable energy systems or on the other side of the program, some energy efficiency projects. Under the renewable energy side of the program, things like solar, wind, hydrogen, geothermal, small hydro, ocean power are all eligible. And then under the energy efficiency side of the program, things like new doors and windows, ventilation, insulation, new refrigeration and cooling units, really anything that's replacing energy inefficient equipment. REAP isn't the only incentive program out there, but it is an example of one that offers both loan guarantees and grants. On the grant side of REAP, we can reimburse up to 25% of the eligible total project cost, and then on the guaranteed loan portion, we can do up to 75%. The Burton operation qualified for both types of REAP projects, a renewable energy system installation and an energy efficiency improvement project. I'm Valerie Moore and I'm the daughter of Charles Burton um, and this is our family poultry operation and beef cattle operation. Smile for the camera. Our electric bill kept going up, up, up and I was trying to see what could we do to be more efficient to keep the money here on the farm instead of, uh, you know, kept going out and uh, the electric bill I really couldn't control because I had to hit the fans and the feeds and stuff like that. So. We started with the local NRCS office just to figure out were there upgrade or renewable energy opportunities and they started us down the trail with some resources. The USDA has programs under both NRCS and rural development. Depending on your situation, there may also be other programs available. A good online resource to check out is the North Carolina Clean Energy Technologies Database of State Incentives for Renewables and Efficiency. Keep in mind that programs change, so it's usually worth a call to the funder listed for the latest program information. So in 2011, um, we did the renewable energy solar panels, um, and then in 2015, we did the energy efficient upgrades um, through USDA. That's when we put more fans because the integrator that I worked for said that I needed them. We had to put tighter doors on our houses and then we went with the computer system in the houses to make it more efficient. He's had to learn a lot about how to deal with the computer based system of it. Um, but I think it's been a friendly thing. I don't mind trying things. I do like to read about modern technology to make things better. And my goal is I like to work smarter and not harder. I know from a financial standpoint, my parents have been very happy with not having to pay an electric bill for over eight years. The One Solar Array is now providing energy production for four separate pullet houses, when originally we thought it was only going to cover the first operation, which is two houses. But what does it take to complete an application? There were several evenings of just hunkered down, kitchen table covered in paperwork, uh, you know, electric bills from the last couple of years, tax returns. 
but it's really nothing to be scared of. With the REAP application part of it, our vendor that we utilized and that helped us install and buy the solar panels um, actually filled out the whole application for us. A good contractor will help you out along the way. They had some grant writers they'd worked with in the past and they knew the steps. For an energy efficiency improvement project, an energy assessment or audit is required. One option is to get an NRCS Agricultural Energy Management Plan, which would set you up to apply for assistance under the On-Farm Energy Initiative. But for a REAP grant, other audit types will also suffice. Well, the thing of it is you have to uh, get an energy audit and then, you know, that's, that, that determines whether you qualify or not. We were required as a family to get together electric bills, propane invoices for a, over a two-year period. And with any process that you're trying to get money for, you're always required to have two to three years worth of taxes. And so this is all information that we bundled up and we sent um, down to the auditor. From the aspect of feeling like um, we were doing the majority of the work, I'd say not. Um, we had professionals that were there to help us and assist us, and, and trust me, um, if you had questions, just pick up the phone and call somebody. I mean, you're not the first person that's done it. They've heard most of the questions that you've come up with already, so they're, they're pretty used to hearing it, and it just makes your life easier to ask them and then go ahead and keep working on it. And, in the end, you'll be glad you did. You can always go to our website, USDA Rural Development website. And there you're going to see information, fact sheets um, about all of our programs. And within the website, you can go and select your state. And it will give you a contact list. And you can always call. And they're always more than happy to help. You know, pick up the phone, give us a call, and we'll always walk you through any questions, the application process, anything like that.